Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the trigger on the Benjamin Trail NP2. To begin with, I've removed the trigger guard, just to make it easier for me to get to the trigger and for you to be able to see. Uh, if your screwdriver will fit through that slot, you don't need to do this though. If you do remove the trigger guard, make sure you put that screw back in to hold the, uh, the action into the stock. This gun's straight out of the box. We're going to shoot it and get a baseline for the trigger. When you're shooting, when you're adjusting the trigger of, an, of, of a brake barrel, you always have to uh, shoot a pellet. You can't dry fire it. Six pounds, eight ounces. And we'll do a couple more to get an average here. Seven pounds, nine ounces. And six pounds, three ounces. So we're right in the seven pound area there. Yeah, six pounds, 12 ounces at our average there. So let's see if we can get it down a little bit better than that. We have one adjustment here, and all you need is a small, thin, flathead screwdriver. And we're just going to adjust this screw that's right behind the trigger. Now this is a pretty heavy trigger pull, but it does have a clear first and second stage, and I'll try and show you that here. As I, you know, as I pull back, I mean the first stage is still fairly sturdy, but, but I hit a clear wall right there. Then I push through, it's not extremely crisp, but there is a clear wall there and it breaks. Um, we're going to try and adjust it as low as we can get, you know, as light a trigger as we can, while still preserving that second stage wall. Now, if your trigger comes out of the box where you don't have a second stage, where it's just a long first stage and it's kind of unpredictable, then you'll have to do the opposite adjustment here. But we're going to start by turning this a full turn. I think we can, triggers you want to do small adjustments, but I think that with as heavy as this one is, we can get away with a f starting out with a full turn. Now I did that turn counterclockwise because I'm trying to lighten up the trigger. That feels better. Let's see what this scale says here. Six pounds, three ounces. Let's do one more. So we haven't progressed too much, apparently. Yeah, seven pounds, one ounce. So let's keep going. So again, usually you want to do small adjustments, but I'm going to go uh, another We'll do a half turn here and see what that does. Now for testing guns indoors like this, I just take a cardboard box and fill it up with clothes and shoot into it. And that works pretty well. Okay, now we're at five pounds, six ounces. Let's do another one. Double check. Yeah, 
Yeah, five pounds, five ounces. So we're making progress here, we're starting to see. Change, let's do, that's still pretty heavy. I think we can go a little bit lower. Let's do another half turn and see where we're at. Four pounds, five ounces. And four pounds, 11 ounces. It's hard to tell with the trigger gauge. Let's just fire and see what it feels like here. Yeah, so it feels like we've still got a clear second stage. Really long first stage, but there's nothing we can do about that. Yeah, we've still got a really nice, it's actually becoming a nice, quite a nice trigger, even though it's not light, but it's really crisp. Uh, let's go ahead and see how far we can adjust it while still preserving that second stage. So I'm going to do a quarter turn this time. Yeah, and I've still got that second stage. Let's measure it. So right about four pounds right there. Let's do one more just to confirm it. Yeah, right at four pounds. So consistent trigger at this point. But let's see how far we can go. I'm go going to go ahead and do another half, uh, a quarter turn rather. Yep, yeah, I still have that second stage, so we'll do another quarter turn. And still have it. So let's just go crazy and go a half turn there. Okay, so that final half turn that I did, which was, was, was too much, I've lost my second stage. Let's go back a quarter turn to the right now, clockwise, and see where we're at. Nope, still don't have that second stage wall. Just going to turn it back an eighth of a turn. Okay, so I can still feel the second stage there. And what that does, of course, is just give you the predictability. You pull and you get there, and you know that just any more pressure, and it's going to go off. So that's what. was better. That one was good, that is. Yeah, I think we're pretty consistent. Let's go ahead and measure it and see where we're at. So three pounds, 14 ounces. Three 
3 pounds 11 ounces. And four pound one ounces. So right there in the, you know, three, you know, three point twelve ounce, thirteen ounce range. Okay, that's about as good as we can get the trigger for my taste. Now, if you just want a, uh, a really light uh, one stage trigger, you can of course adjust it further out. But this for me is about right. Now the MP Trail is a good hunting gun, and a, and a stout trigger like this, even at you know at three pounds. Is, is good for hunting. It's not as good for the bench, but, but for hunting where your hands might be cold or where you're moving around and not settled in as much, uh, that's just about right. Hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching.